I'm Chubba Chetta, and this is Ford's brand new C-Max Energy. Ford's been selling the C-Max in Europe for a number of years, and it's basically a compact wagon. Based on the Fiesta, it's only about 174 inches long, but it's really pretty high, so you sit upright, and that leaves room for a big luggage area. It's a really practical car. The C-Max is also a hybrid in all of its forms in, in the U.S. There's a regular C-Max hybrid, which is a conventional gasoline electric powertrain that helps to improve the fuel economy. And the C-Max Energy is a plug-in hybrid. It has that same gasoline and electric motor, but there's a bigger battery so you can drive about 20 miles on pure electric power. Under the hood is the C-Max's powertrain, just like you'd expect. But there's a little bit more stuff here than on a regular car. Here we've got a two-liter, four-cylinder, very high-efficiency gasoline engine. It's coupled to the special CVT with the electric motor built in, which is down here somewhere. And this is the electrical controller. It provides high voltage, high current electricity to really make all this magic work. These orange housings signify the really high voltage cables that take the electricity from the battery through the controller into the electric motor. When you've got wires that are carrying hundreds of volts and hundreds of amps, you can electrocute yourself pretty easily if you don't take care of them. The front compartment of the C-Max is very spacious. I've got about six inches of room above my head. I've got plenty of leg room. It's not super wide, but of course, we've only got two seats in here, so it's plenty wide enough. The touch points for my elbows are nice and soft, and the driving position is great. The steering wheel's exactly where I want it. Of course, it's adjustable up, down, and in and out. The shifter's in a good location. I can see the central console. It's really satisfactory. That's not a super rich interior, there's some painted plastic, but at least the upper dash is nice and soft. And keep in mind, this is a $30,000 car, it's not a $50,000 or $60,000 car. And at that price point, this is a nice interior. The back seat of the C-Max is surprisingly spacious. I've still got a lot of headroom, I've even got decent knee room. Compact cars like a Ford Focus that are actually longer than this don't have this type of knee room. And this comes from the high roof. The high roof produces an upright seating position, and that makes for packaging efficiency, and that's how you get this much space in this smaller car. This C-Max has a feature that Ford recently introduced on some of its newer SUVs. It's a hands-free way to open the hatch. And the idea is if you're approaching the car with two grocery bags in your hand, if you've got the key in your pocket, you just give it a kick under the door and it opens the tailgate or even closes the tailgate if you've just pulled two golf bags, for example, out of there. It's really a nice feature to let you get into the car when your hands are full. With the hatch open, you can see how much room there is inside this C-Max. It's really a big space for a car this small. Now, it's a little odd that we have this double level package shelf, but this is where the battery is for the plug-in hybrid. If you get a regular C-Max hybrid without the plug-in feature, this floor goes way down here because it doesn't need the big battery. Even with the back seats folded up, there's plenty of luggage space in the C-Max. This is more room than a Chevy Volt has in its trunk. Let's get behind the wheel and see how it works. We're starting off with a full battery charge, which according to my system gives us 18 miles of all electric range. So this is our opportunity to see how this C-Max Energy works in all electric mode. We're in downtown San Francisco, in a flat part of the city for now, and it drives like a typical electric car. It's very, very quiet. I'm hearing absolutely no engine noise. And at low speeds like this, there's just instant response and a lot of acceleration. Inner cities have lots of cars, they produce lots of pollution, you're not running very high speed, so if you can run in electric mode here in town, it just makes a lot of sense. The styling of the C-Max interior is very much in the modern Ford idiom. If you look at this whole central display area with the little hood over the LCD screen, it's very much like what Ford has done in the recent Escape, and not that dissimilar from a Focus. There definitely is a family resemblance uh, between the C-Max and the other recent new Fords. In front, we've got a main speedometer. And on either side are a couple of LCD screens that let us uh, bring up various displays. The ones on the left tend to have to do with the vehicle. You can bring up a tachometer or your uh, range displays, your battery charge displays, all that stuff. 
And on your right, you have the non-vehicle systems, navigation directions, your phone system, uh, and your various audio options. The C-Max is a handy size for driving in an inner city. It's really a pretty small car. It's just a little over 173 inches long, which actually makes it shorter than a Prius or a Chevy Volt. That's because this car is based on the platform of the Ford Fiesta, which is the smallest car that Ford sells in North America. With 118 horsepower and plenty of low RPM torque, the C-Max Energy has no trouble dealing with San Francisco's steep hills. In fact, the CVT transmission combined with the electric motor gives you exactly the thrust you need in a seamless and natural fashion. To help maintain your speed on some of San Francisco's steep downhills, you can shift into a low position, which basically spins the electric motor faster, it causes it to absorb more energy, and that both controls your speed and pumps more energy back into the battery. We're now about to head across the Golden Gate Bridge and get up into Marin County and see how it works on electric power on the highway. We're up to about 60 miles an hour. Again, car feels perfectly normal. There's a fair level of road noise in the C-Max, but keep in mind, this is not a plush, expensive car. It's based on the Fiesta platform, so it's not gonna feel exactly like a Lincoln or a BMW or a Mercedes-Benz. We've used up our battery power and the gasoline motor just turned down automatically. Frankly, I didn't even feel it when it happened. Running as a hybrid, the C-Max Energy is rated at 43 miles per gallon combined by the EPA. That's a little bit worse than the C-Max Hybrid, which is rated at 47 MPG combined, and that's because the Energy is a little bit heavier than the Hybrid because it has a bigger battery. Now, if you think plugging in this car is an inconvenience, it is a little bit of an inconvenience, but it's not terribly hard. But there's a flip side to that. If you plug this car in religiously, you're not gonna be going to the gas station as often. So you spend a little bit more time plugging it into your garage, but you save a bunch of time putting gas in the tank. And unlike the other plug-in hybrids, the C-Max Energy has a good sized gas tank. It's a 14 gallon tank, and with a full charge of electricity and a full tank of gas, it's rated for a range of 620 miles. So with that much gasoline, if you actually do plug it in and spend a lot of your driving on electric power, you might go 1,000 miles or even 2,000 miles between filling your tanks. That's the payoff for taking that little effort to plug it in every time you pull into your garage. We've used up the battery at this point, so we're running in gasoline electric hybrid mode. And there's plenty of reserve power. I mean, I step into it and the engine gets a little bit noisy, but we're at 85 and we're just closing in on 90. It's got some performance, and it's worth remembering that the combined power of this car, the gasoline motor and the electric motor put together is 188 horsepower, which is a reasonable amount for a smallish car. So there's not gonna be any highway in the country where you're gonna have trouble getting a speeding ticket in this car. The view out of the C-Max Energy is really terrific. Looking forward, we've got a big windshield, the hood drops away, it seems like I can see the road about two feet in front of the car, and out the side I've got a great view too, because if you really look at it, there's four windows on each side of the car. The Energy also feels very solid. This is a modern car, it's got a modern structure to it, and there's no creaks, there's no groans. It's a rock solid feeling car. And the chassis, like all of these Fords, has a very European-like feel to it. It's a very well damped ride. There's not a lot of floating up and down at all. And even though this is not a sports car, it feels taut. We finished our morning drive. We've been running in regular hybrid power because our battery has used up all of its energy. So we've come to a parking spot where we've got these convenient Ford charging stations. Plugging in the car is really simple. Press on the lid, it opens right up. Take the power plug, stick it in here. You see the rings start doing the circular motion. That means the charger and the car are talking to each other. And pretty soon we'll see one quarter of that ring light up which means that charging has begun. And when that one quarter lights up, that means that it's charging right at the beginning. And when it gets beyond that stage, gradually this entire ring will illuminate. And when it's totally on and not blinking, it means we have a full charge. Now this charger that'll charge the car in about two and a half hours takes 220 volts at 30 amps. 
that's about the same circuit that your electric dryer uses. And if you want to get one of these chargers installed in your garage, it's probably going to cost you a couple thousand dollars. But if you're going to keep this car for a number of years and plug it in regularly, it's going to maximize your ability to use electric power as often as possible. I mean, keeping up with traffic at this point that's moving along at roughly high 60s, 70 miles an hour is pretty easy on electric power alone. But there's just not a lot of acceleration. Right now, I floor it at 70 and it barely accelerates at all. So there is a downside for staying in pure electric power on the freeway, but it's still usable. It's not unacceptable at all. And if all you're doing is commuting in freeway traffic, even at 70 or 75 miles an hour, you can do it with just the electric motor. A car like the C-Max Energy can be thought of as the best of all worlds or the worst of all worlds, depending on your point of view. It's the best of all worlds because it can run a significant and useful distance on pure electric power without any of the range anxiety or limitations of a pure battery-driven electric car. But it's the worst of all worlds because it has the complication, weight, and cost of two complete powertrains. And surely this C-Max Hybrid at 3,800 pounds is no lightweight. So it really comes down to whether you want that ability to run on electric power or not. If you do, this car makes a lot of sense. If the ability to run on pure electric power is meaningless to you, walk right on by. So how does the C-Max Energy fit into the automotive landscape? Well, it has two natural competitors, the Chevrolet Volt and the Toyota Prius plug-in. Those are the only three plug-in hybrids at a reasonable price. Now the Volt's got the longest range because it has the biggest battery, but it costs several thousand dollars more than the C-Max Energy, which stickers at $29,995. The Prius has a lot less range than this car, but actually costs a few hundred dollars more. So from a pure plug-in range versus price, the C-Max Energy is a very good value. On top of it, it's much more practical than the other two cars. With this tall wagon body style, it has way more room than a Chevy Volt or a Toyota Prius. So I think Ford has really found a pretty nice sweet spot for practical plug-in hybrids here. If you want a plug-in hybrid that can do a lot of tasks for you, still get you a good long ways on electricity and save on your overall bill, this is the only game in town. I'm Chubba Chetta with Car and Driver. See you next time.